Hi guys, this is uh, Scott from Soul Game Studios. I'm here to provide a simple tutorial on how to make a flower of life pattern really quick and simple in seconds and you can apply it to a whole bunch of different objects and um, shapes and patterns and things to make some cool effects. Like for example, I made this sphere and then I made it, I lit, lit it up a little bit and then I added some color. So I think it looks pretty cool. So um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to File, New, and of course you wanna create a new file. I mean, I'm just gonna create, uh, let's say 1000 by 1000, whatever size you want, it doesn't really matter at this point, but you are kinda creating the base um, size for your pattern. So it's good to kinda give a certain idea of what you want but of course you can rescale it and you it's gonna be vector so it can uh, expand and contract however you want it to so I'm gonna start with the black background uh, you can obviously change this later and I'll show you how to do that all right so now we um, we're gonna use the ellipsis tool to start out and uh, whenever you select that you want to make sure that it's on shape uh, fill is none, uh, stroke is white, maybe two, you know, you can always mess with these later if you want, if you want a cool stroke. Okay, so how we're going to do this, we're going to have three different levels. So the first level is, is going to be the seed of life. And let's work on that one now. And then uh, we'll have the seed, I call it the seed case. But you could call it whatever you want. And then just the, um, I'll call these the four loners. And you'll, you'll get to see what that means in a little bit. Okay, so the main thing you need to have set is the snap. Make sure that's set because that's going to help you out a lot. Okay, so then you want to hold down shift and create a nice circle. You know, not too big you know you need space to add these together that's fine okay and then you can hit V and then this is uh, and then you want to make sure this auto select is off and you want to hold L or alt and then click and drag and that's going to duplicate so you don't have to do it all the time and then we're going to want that to be dead center to the vesica Pisces and then we're gonna want to Alt again, and then we're going to want to bring it up to the top of that shape. All right, now that we have that, you're going to want to uh, come over here and grab two of these, duplicate them, hit Control T, hold down Shift, and just drag until you see it lock into place. You see these lock in place? It goes to a 45 degree angle. Okay, and then we're going to do that again. And then we're going to hold down shift if it's going to work. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, there we go. Now we got the seed of life. Now we can select that and just make sure that's in the, yeah, so that's in the, in the right folder. Now that we got the seed, now we got to work on the case. And the case is, uh, is pretty simple too. So you first want to turn it 90 degree angle so you get this nice straight line here. Okay, now what we're going to want to do first is make sure it's selected, grab the tool, uh, no, not tool, sorry. You're going to have to duplicate one of these just to add in there, so, um, so the size is always the same. Okay, and then we're going to grab that, bring it up, put it right up in there. You'll see it kind of lock and make sure these, these are the points you want to make sure are set, and then you want to alt. Hold Alt and bring down, duplicate, and see how they're like that. Nice parallel. You want to grab those, and we're going to um, just make sure they're perfectly aligned. So you hit this little button, and it makes sure they're, they look pretty good. So now we want to duplicate. So I'm going to grab these, drop these down to here to duplicate. I'm sure there's plenty of different ways you could do that, but that's how I prefer. Hold Shift, and then it's going to lock those right into there. And now we're going to do it one more time. Control T, 
and then shift it pops it right into the loan. Okay, now that we got those two, we're going to bring those back to uh, back to 90 degrees. Keep them keep that line straight. Obviously, that's more of my preference. If you like it another way, then feel free to do it the way you want to do it. And then we're going to grab another one of these duplicate and bring it up in there. Just so we have the same, you know, size shape and stuff so we don't have to rebuild. Okay, now this one this is the sort of tricky part. These four loners are kind of weird, but they should snap in there, right? See how it snaps into this? And then, of course, you want to hold Alt, bring it down to the other side, snap it in there. And then you're going to do the same thing, you know, copy, then Control T, Shift, and then they're going to snap in right there. And that's all you need to do for building the Flower of Life to make the, the pattern. So now we got, yeah, we got the seed of life, the case, and the four loners. And now we're going to save this. I'm going to save this as, um, let's just save it on my desktop as, um, yeah, um, flower of life. Okay, so now we got that saved, just, you know. Saving is always good to do. Now we are going to uh, create the pattern. So now we just come up here to the rectangular marquee tool. And then the pattern is like this. So um, yeah, see the top and bottom. And you want to make sure these are set. Here, let me zoom in for you really quick. Oh, no, zoom. Let's zoom in here really nice and big so you can see this. Okay, so you want to be in the center, center, right there. And the snap, should, the snap tool should help. Okay, let's see that line. Line's good, that line looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks a little off here, so let me try that again. And then uh, you want to hold down shift if you want to move the tool to get that line. See that purple line there? That's what we're looking for. That line. Yeah, it's a little tedious, but you know, once you get the top uh, left corner, then you don't have to hold anymore. And you don't have to hold control anymore. Spacebar. Okay, there we go. Now we got it all lined up. Now you just go to edit and you go to define pattern. And we're going to call this uh, flower of life pattern. Okay, now save that. And now we're ready. We're pretty much done. Now all you got to do is, yeah, go grab any shape you want. I'm just going to grab the Let's see, let's do the, let's do the bird. Okay, so we'll grab the bird. Now we got this really cool bird here. Okay, now we got this cool bird here. Now say we want to fill it up with that pattern. Just go here, double click on it, bring up the layer style uh, panel, and then you want to go to pattern overlay, and you want to go down and select that, which mine is right here. And yeah, oh, that's because there's no fill involved, but see, it's filling it out on the, um, on the stroke. So let's bring in a fill and say black fill. There we go. And now we have the pattern and it's all vector. So, you know, the scale is going to be really nice and clean, no matter what you want to do. Okay. So there we go. Get it nice and smooth. And then, um, of course, you can, yeah, sometimes, if it doesn't look clean, you just kind of have to, like, zoom in and out. I mean, it does matter about your system. And then we're going to, yeah, we can ras uh, rasterize the layer. So then you can actually, you know, move. So here, let's, let's distort so you can, like, move the pattern. Well, actually, it didn't rasterize for some reason. So here, rasterize layer style. There we go. 
Now, yeah, now you can warp it as much as you want. I'm gonna distort it. Oh, uh, distort. Yeah, so there. You can do like crazy cool patterns with it. Pretty much whatever you want. It's up to you. Okay, no, let's not try that now. Okay, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it uh, for this lesson. Um, you can do it with any object. You can do it with your background, for example, here. You just always double click, go to layer style, pattern overlay. And there you go, you got your pattern. And I mean, you can do it with a whole bunch of other patterns. So yeah, there it is. Looks all nice and clean, looks pretty crazy. And if you want to, um, you know, add color and stuff, then you're going to have to first rasterize the layer. And then you're going to have to add a, um, you're going to have to add a color in the background. And then you're going to have to multiply, for example, here, I'll go gradient and I'll add, you know, full color. Uh, for some reason, my layer is in, my, in, my mode is in bit size, I don't know why that, so just switch it over, that's fine, and we're gonna just, yeah, I mean, you gotta make sure that your mode is correct or else you're gonna lose your stuff, but luckily this is just a tutorial, so nothing really bad, okay, so yeah, we just want to fill that in, and then we're gonna go here to gradient, and then we're gonna go back there, and that's gonna give us all the colors. And then from here, you just want to go up to the top layer and then just multiply. You got this crazy cool kind of stuff that you can do with it. Um, it's pretty much up to you. And then, of course, you can rasterize this layer. And then you can come over here to adjustments and hue. And then you can always just kind of do some cool, crazy stuff with it. All right, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, please uh, subscribe and yeah, give us some likes. Um, yeah, and um, we have a new game coming out in Soul Game Studios pretty soon. So uh, yeah, keep your eye out for that. It should be pretty nice. All right, thanks. Bye.